What's going on guys? Welcome to Amigos Code. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and also give me a thumbs up so I can keep on recording more videos like this. In this video, we're going to carry on on learning about uh, algorithms and we're going to talk about the selection sort algorithm. So selection sort is one of these algorithms which is really simple for you to understand and Right here, you see that I've got this array, so containing four, nine, three, six, and two. And above, you can see the actual indexes, so zero, one, two, three, and four. So those are, are the actual positions um, for your array. So the way it works is as follows. So we're going to start from the beginning, and what we're going to say is four, right? So we're going to start with four. And we're going to go till the end and try to find the minimum number from index zero to four. So is four less than nine? Yes. So four is still the minimum number. Is four less than three? No. Right. So three now becomes the minimum number. And now we say is three less than six? Yes. Is three less than two? No. So two now is the minimum number, right, in this array. So what we're going to do now is simply swap two and four, just like that. So you see that we've swapped two and four. Now two is in the right position. So now we're going to carry on from one, so index one to four, and we're going to repeat the exact same process. So we're going to start with nine. Let's find the minimum number. So we know that three is less than nine. So three now becomes the minimum number and we're going to carry on. So six is bigger than three and four is also bigger than three. So three is the minimum number and we're going to swap three with nine. So right here, so that we swap three with nine. Now two, three are sorted. We're going to start from index two, right? And we're going to find the, the minimum number. So right here, so from two to four, we're going to find the minimum number. So you can see that the minimum number is four. So let's play the animation. So there we go. We found four. Four is less than six. And we're going to swap four with nine. Now let's carry on. Six is six, the minimum number. Yes, we're going to now leave six in the exact same position, right? And there we go. So we now sorted the array. So it's as simple as this. Now let's go ahead and learn how to put this into code. Right, so for this video, I'm going to be using Python. And in the previous video, I've used Java, Java, and Python to demonstrate that language is just a tool. So if you want me to use a different language, for the next video, go ahead and suggest which programming language you want me to use to demonstrate the actual algorithm. So right here, let's go ahead and simply create the actual uh, numbers, right? So equals two and then this array and the numbers were these ones. So four, nine, three, six and two. Now what we're going to do is pretty much just create a for loop and we're going to say for i and then in and then range and then the length of numbers, right? Numbers just like that and then colon there. Now what we're going to do is simply uh, start from the beginning, right? And we need to initiate our minimum number. So I'm going to say that the minimum index, right? So index is equal to I to begin with. Next, what we're going to do is say four, right? So now four J and then range. And right here, we're going to start from I plus one. And we're going to go through the length of numbers. So the reason why I'm saying I plus one is because I want to compare. So initially, this will be four. But the J, right, so I want to I start from this number right here. So J will start from I plus one, right? So right here. And then the next time it goes to the loop, it will start right here. The next time, oh, oops, uh, actually right here. 
and the next time right here. So basically is the exact same example I've showed you in the animation. And what we're going to do is simply say if, right? So we want to say if the numbers, right? So, and guess what? So the numbers at index J, right? So if this is less than the numbers, and then right here, guess what? The minimum index. So if this is the case, we have a new lowest number. So I'm going to say min and then index equals two and then J, right? So now that we found the minimum index, remember, all we have to do is simply swap the numbers. So I'm going to say numbers and then I, right? So I will be from zero. So it'll start zero. So I want to swap the zero index. So four in this case with two, right? Because two will be initially the um, lowest number in this array, right? So I want to swap I and then numbers and right here, mean index equals two and then numbers mean index. And finally, numbers and then I. So this is how you swap uh, numbers in Python. So the reason why I'm choosing Python is because Python is very simple to you to read and reason about. So this is the actual algorithm. So let's now go ahead and simply say print and then the actual numbers. There we go. And if I save this, we, we've got an error right here. So this should be in, right? And then save again. There we go. Now, if I run and there we go. So you can see that we have the array sorted. So four. So let me put this bigger. So you see, so here, two, three, four, six, and nine. And this is pretty much everything about the selection sort. Now, selection sort is not the quickest algorithm. So it has uh, the best and worst time complexity of big O n squared. So I'm going to touch upon uh, time complexity and space complexity later. But first, I want to make sure that you understand the algorithms so that then when I start to talk about the more uh, advanced features and, and you know how um, to choose between these algorithms, then you know what I'm talking about. This is all for now. Go ahead and smash the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Until then, catch me on the next one.